Hello, thank you for joining me. It's early one morning, just south of Tyne and Weir. And today is the day of the IFA road run around the Tyne Valley and Northumberland. My larder is parked just down there. I've got here a bit early because this is where we're meeting. The reason I got here early because I just had to come up this hill to have a look at this. You can see it everywhere and I just had to come up and have a look. It's, um, it's like a replica of the Parthenon and it's called the Penshaw Monument. I'm going to have to go up inside because it's, it's so big. I mean, I've not been to the Parthenon so it's probably quite small compared to the Parthenon but when you're here it feels really big. It's owned by the National Trust, so this is the um, first time I've been to a National Trust place for a while. Although, if you may have seen some of the videos I made in lockdown, where well, I talked about National Trust passports, there's no shop or anything, so I can't actually get a stamp in my National Trust passport. But look how big it is, it's just so impressive. Looks like at night it's all lit up. So, what we're going to do. We'll uh, find our way in, sort of up high on this plinth, and um, there are some steps that will take us up into the monument. So we'll have a look at that and we'll look at the views. And before we go in, there's a trig pillar here. So, for those of you who don't know what a trig pillar is, they're used for OS maps. So, each one of these will line up with another trig pillar. And this one and this one are obscured by trees, and this one. It's obscured by the monument, but I could see another hill, which I think um, probably was the um, hill with the other tree pillar on. So here is the monument. Got these steps just here. Take us inside. And once we get inside, you can see what a vast space it is. So there's no roof on it. It's um, open to the elements but I think it's a really impressive building and a um, great place to start the IFA road run. It looks as though in this column here, fortunately we can't go up here but it looks like there's a staircase, probably a spiral staircase. You can see there's a door and um, just there there's a little there's a window there so there must be a spiral staircase going up. It'd be great to get on the roof and walk all around the top but um, I don't know if that's ever possible but I just really think this is a really impressive building. As I said, I've never been to the Parthenon in Greece. I'd love to do it one day. But in the meantime, I'm quite happy to be up here and enjoying the view. So what I've got to do now for the IFA road run, basically I've got to keep an eye out. When I start to see a load of Trabants and Larders appearing down there, I'm going to make my way down there. So we're even meeting, we're meeting down basically at the bottom of this hill or possibly in the country park um, across the road. So I'm going to walk back down get in the car and we're going to drive all around Northumberland in a big convoy so I'll be able to show you Northumberland from the Eastern Block car rally. So as I come down from the um, Penshaw Monument, just a little bit of history. It was built in 1844 as a monument to John Lampton. He was the Earl of County Durham who um, had died four years earlier. It's 100 feet long and um, I said it was a replica of the Parthenon. It's actually a replica of um, the Temple of Theseus in Athens. There we are, so Penshaw Monument and here. So as we come out here, um, this is where my larder is waiting and it looks like a couple of um, two-stroke motorbikes have turned up so they'll be taking part in the rally today so i'm going to get in the larder and um, we're going to go all around northumberland i'll give you one last view of the monument so here we are we're at the country park now across the road from the monument you might just be able to see the monument there above the trees the trees kind of obscure the view so, as for the other cars that are joining us for this run, we have some larders at the double. This larder, that's the saloon. It's, um, it's also a larder reaver, but it's a 1600 SLX. So it's like the most luxury larder reaver sold in Great Britain. We've got some Trabants, three Trabants, a Skoda in the middle. Um, we'll go that side so we can have a look. And um, a moment ago, when we got to the foot of the hill of the monument, there was those two Eastern Block motorbikes. I don't know too much about motorbikes, so apologies. I'm not going to be able to tell you what they are, but 
Here's those two motorbikes. Look, we get the back views of the larders. Here we have two different shades of yellow Traban. Skoda. Google Wagon Traban. So you can see how it kind of doesn't have sides. There's a water. And um, I don't know if they're joining us or if they're just here, but there's a lance in here. So that's quite a nice thing to see. And um, looks like we have an American city here, so that, that's also quite an exciting thing to see. So what's probably going to happen now, a few more cars probably will arrive and um, as I said, we're going to go for a huge drive, for that 150 mile road trip all around the Tyne Valley and Northumberland. Before we get going though, there's one person I want to introduce you to. So majority of us are driving, some are passengers, some are sharing a driver, but one passenger we have today in this motorbike is Olive. Olive? Hello. Hello Olive. I'm just putting you on YouTube, I hope you don't mind. So this is Olive, she rides in the um, sidecar of this motorbike. So she's going to enjoy a 150 mile round trip around Northumberland. After a spectacular drive across the moorlands, we've come fairly high up and uh, I noticed we were going along by an old railway line, which is here. And if you turn around here, we have the old Parkhead station and um, quite a few Eastern Bloc cars have mixed in with various other cars. So we'll go down, have a look at what which cars have come up here and um, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea because the old Parkhead station is now a tea room. So um, I've, I've been driving this leg it was a really really nice drive I really enjoyed it um, I might not drive the next leg um, so I might be able to get a few shots of cars going along from the car but I've been obviously in my larder and it was quite nice because in the wing mirrors I could see another larder behind me as well as all the trabants which are also coming this way so it's been quite an exciting drive oh we had um so down where we started we had larders at the double at the triple here we have skodas at the double so that's quite a nice drive it appears to be an old um must be an old miners carriage when they would taken miners on a narrow gauge railway down into the mine this railway would have been a standard gauge railway i believe this was just a good station it's all northeastern territory so before our next leg of the journey i'm gonna go and get a cup of tea I'm just gonna film this a bit.
in Hexham. There's my larder with a Trabant and a Wartburg estate. There's a few more of the cars down there. And um, we have another larder there. The, and there's the one more larder over here. So I was just thinking, I wonder when the last time you could have come to a Tesco's, walked around the car park and seen three larders. It's um, quite unusual, so to, to say the least. I should think at some point, probably in the 1990s was the last time, um, you know, you'd have seen more than one larder. I mean, because now it's fairly rare to see a larder anywhere. And it's, um, you see me or one of the other larders out and about. So we've got various Trabants um, and some Skodas. What I'm going to do though, we're here in Hexham. Never been to this town before. I've passed through on the train in the past. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a quick explore around Hexham. I'm going to put that in a separate video, so do look out for that. I'm going to explore Hexham and show you around, get lunch as well, and then we're going to continue our 150 mile road trip around Tyne Valley, Northumberland. We've arrived at Kilda Water. Some of the other convoy just arriving, it's a Trevant that's arriving. There's the uh, Zafra jet just parking up. A few Trabbies over there, Wartburg. I park next to the other larder because I'm really enjoying the opportunity to always be able to park next to another larder. And the blue Skoda, the blue Skoda blue larder, they go nicely together. There's the um, yellow Trabby, the Wartburg, and um, it's not part of our convoy, but there's a rather nice Rover which happens to be here as well. There's the rest of the convoy, the Skoda, Wartburg, larder, and the Kubel Wagon Prabant. As for where we've come to, we have come to Kilda Water, which is a very, very large reservoir. So I'm just about to show you that. Then we're going to, we've had a very, very scenic drive, really nice scenery up from Hexham to here. So it's a really enjoyable drive. This is where we've ended up. Look at that vastness of water stretching out um, across there. It's, it's a man made reservoir. I could see the dam down the end as we, we came into here. So this is where we've uh, come for our afternoon break. We're then going to continue back towards Newcastle. We've got one more place um, that I certainly intend to stop, so um, you'll see where that is in a moment. Well, we've just arrived at our final stop. It's six o'clock. We've been going since 10 o'clock this morning. There's another larder. Now, we've been driving around the northeast, the Tyne Valley, so there's only really one logical place to finish it. Angel of the North, let's go and have a look. I've never been here before. Seen it from the train a few times. Um, and when I went to Newcastle a few years ago, I could see it in the distance, but I never visited it. There's a few tramps up here as well. Probably, um, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's the first time a larder has been to Angel of the North, but uh, probably the first time, you know, this many Eastern Bloc cars have turned up at Angel of the North. Got Trabant's, Wartburg's. Um, we just put an electric charging station in, it's not going to be much use to us a lot though. 
and uh, Skoda Wartburg that does yet so yeah quite exciting for all these eastern block cars to turn up here at Angel of the North and look at that for a, a cameo a Trabby an Angel of the North as if this is some sort of sculpture perhaps somewhere more like um, in Germany or Poland or Hungary but no we are here up in Gateshead and um, yeah this really just completes what's been a great great road trip around um, Northumberland and uh, the Tyne Valley. It's been really good fun. So we've done about 150 miles today and um, it's all been great. And this is where we're finishing it. So I'm just going to walk up to the Angel of the North, have a look, and um, then I think um, I might just jump in the Varda, drive to a metro station, perhaps get the metro into Newcastle, but I won't put that in the video. That'll just be my uh, relaxing after all this driving around today. So here it is, we're kind of approaching it sideways on. It's pretty big. Let's go just down here so you can get a bit of a view of it. I know I'm looking very silhouetted at the moment with the sun, but so is the Angel of the North. That's better. Oh, look how, look how big it is. Um, so we started at one monument and now we're finishing at possibly the most different monument to what we started at and um, yeah can't get it in one screen it's just too too big we'll go up close see what it looks see what it's like up close I've always wondered let's have a look so here we are literally I'm at the foot of Angel of the North you can just see the arms or the wing, the wings, yeah, because it's an angel, so the wings hanging out both sides. It's amazing. So that really does conclude the road run of um, the North East and the Tyne Valley. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, you never know, you might be out driving one day, and if you see a load of larders and trabants driving around, then it's probably us lot off on another one of our road trips, because we will do these again later on in the year, and... Uh, for years to come we'll do similar road trips so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment from angel of the north goodbye